Hello, hello, you gorgeous people. This um, is Julie Cube, and I'm here in Australia, in Queensland. Um, coming to you with a um, piece of art today, hopefully that turns out beautiful, because it's on a really lovely um, large canvas. It's a 41 by 82 canvas, so it's a nice large canvas. I have treated it with its due respect, and I have taped the back to keep the back nice and clean and I put my giant push pins in so as I can lift it and tilt it and it doesn't affect um, you know I don't have to fiddle about when I try to put it down so I have got these lovely autumn colors here in mind I might you know go off tether as I normally do um, with this paw but I'm thinking that the composition will be from the bottom upwards so I'll be working and having more negative space at the top so I might get to turn my canvas around in um, when I come to blow it out but for the meantime I will try to keep it uh, this away so um, I've got my colours mixed and I think I'm going to instead of covering my, ca my canvas in the base colour first I'm going to do it in reverse I'm going to um, put my mass of colours on down the bottom first. So yeah, maybe I'll turn it this way. I'll just double check to see if you're all still with me or I haven't put it completely out of the, um, out of the view. So rightio. So working on a big canvas would really uh, lend itself. I mean, this isn't huge, but it is a nice size. Um, to, to obviously work on a really nice big table. have got a nice big table, but I've got it full of all sorts of things. So I'm going to have to look into um, changing my whole um, setup here because it's getting a bit too uh, cluttered. But my husband is building me um, another studio out of an old barn that we've got. So I'm going to be moved to the barn. <laughs> but... Um, I'm not sure if you will have seen the video that I'm putting out or I've put out on the, the the beginning of the renovations for the barn. And I've just seen a little mouse just walk straight past me. It's time to move. Right. God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Rightio. I'm going to start off with this gorgeous champagne colour, which is the gold Metallic gold and metallic silver mixed. 50-50, if you try it yourself, a 50-50 mix of gold and silver metallic, and it gives you this gorgeous, gorgeous champagne colour that I am absolutely loving at the moment. So that's what we're going to start off with. So just doing the wiggles, my wiggle, wiggle, wiggles all over this canvas. So my wiggly lines it's kind of how i first started when i was pouring very first started pouring this is exactly the style that i started you know the actual pour onto my canvas was all wiggly lines rightio i'm going to go with the um this was the burnt umber and i added silver to it was uh, so metallic silver and I think I put a little bit of black in it so they're kind of all these gorgeous autumny colors for sure so use in them all up nicely so it gets gets my paints that I had mixed up this one is the mink which is a mixture of the two, actually. It was the gold and silver um, made into my champagne. Oh, and then I added uh, copper, metallic copper. That was that, that one. So it was slightly different, but it makes this lovely minky, I call it minky pink, because it's, it's got a pink, definitely got a pink tone in it. The minky pink. So I'm trying to keep autumn -y. And this is just the metallic gold on its own. So it's got a lot of metallics in this one. A 
Rightio. Now I'm going to put some more what I call um, autumny with the, the orange. When I um, make orange up, I like putting a good dash of yellow in with it. It, it sends it really nice and bright. So look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Um, and the other colour I want is the cool red. So this cool red has got a good dash of the um, pearl mist in it, which gives it that really iridescent, pearly look. Rightio. And I think that's really all I need to be putting in this. And then of course I want some white. So do the wiggles again all over it. Good dash of white. I just love those colours as they are. They're just gorgeous. So. Oh, I haven't added yellow and I did want to put a bit of yellow in. See, I'm really going all out now. So I will run a bit of these colours off. And they'll go all over my edges nicely. Rightio, so that's the yellow. What I'm gonna do is just a gentle tilt from side to side. So that's why these push pins are really handy because you can tilt it without worrying that when you put it down, it's going to you know, fall off cups or whatnot. So I'll just tilt it to the other side. And tilt it down, just recenter it, and then tilt it down to the bottom of each side again. So then the colours run over the side and give you the edge of your canvas a really nice look too. So I'm just going to run that a little bit up there. Hope you can see this, but I'm trying my best. And that's all you can do. Rightio, that is gorgeous already, loving it. So I might have to turn this around to just coat the top of my canvas. Um, I don't want to blow it out from this way because I seem to, when I blow it out on the um, horizontal, my blows all go one way. When I'm blowing it up, then I can guide it more if you get my drift <laughs> this was just white and i put a little bit of that champagne into it so i'm going to it's actually quite thick so i need to just add some water to that just a bit at a time and especially if you're going to blow it out it can be really quite thin it can be as thin as water really because you're going to blow colors over it so it can be yeah just thin but what I would like to do with this is use my um, sponge brush I call them sponge brush shall I my sponge brush to make sure really that I've got the paints the paint over the edge here so I just find that the sponge brush is really good as well. If you're not using your fingers, like I often use my fingers for the very edge of my canvas, which is lovely too. <laughs> I enjoy doing it. <laughs> but this sponge brush is really, you get a nice even coat on there. Um, so I just want to cover it so it's all covered and I haven't got to worry when it's finished trying to do the sides if, if it's already covered with this. So just a really um, simple way getting your whole canvas covered. So now it will be the thicker. Like see it, it had some of that champagne in it so it's definitely not white. It's sort of yeah very pale coffee cut well I suppose it's coffee coloured even but hopefully I will um let's put that aside I still think I need more water in that too so I'm just putting little dribbles of water in at a time and then give it a real good stir 
stirring Stanley. What I'll do to begin with is I'm going to blow off this more so and then we'll do the top bit afterwards. I'm doing it in reverse today than what I would normally do it so to see how we go but definitely loving those autumny colours. So I'll give it a hit with the heat ones, just burst any air bubbles. Rightio, and my super duper little mini, mini Baileys. You can't actually buy these dryers because I've had a look for everybody. They have obviously were an old, they're just a little baby Baileys travel dryer, but you can get similar. And the really good thing is you can buy a hairdryer that's got a um, handle that that is um, changeable, you know, foldable. Then you can get it in this lovely position to actually blow out that so much easier and very, very light. So if anybody sees them still up for sale, let me know because I got this from a charity shop. So here we go. Let's go for this. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no sweat. Love these colours. Oh, look at these colours. How fantabulous. I love them. Love them. Oh my gosh. Love them. Really love the colours. Rightio. Next bit. I'll pour this. I'll get that out of the way. I'll pour my coat that I want to. Blow up here. Like I said, I'm doing it in reverse. I normally do this. I just thought this may be easier, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to just put some of the bits of colors that I've got left to blow up here. Whee! Oh, very little. Maybe I better blow it. Oh, no, I think I better blow it down. I'm not going to be able to reach over there. I'm going to end up getting myself covered in paint by leaning over this gorgeous bit. And I absolutely love that. So I don't want to change that at all. I just want to make sure I've got some of the wispy bits going up, but not overdo it, which I keep doing is overdoing the um and not ending up with any uh negative space like i intend to but that's okay it's no biggie i'll just put a bit of the um champagne up there too i'm not too worried about these splodges because i'm gonna blow it all do I want some yellow up there or do I not? See, this is where I go overboard and I know that some people really do tell me my faults as, as much as people telling me. So, um, but I just try my best and I, I kind of do what I think is right at the time and it's not always right. So, your art room, your rules, your way, so. Here we go. Oh, I'm just hoping I don't spoil that bottom now. But I need some plenty of 
a neutral color on so as I can blow it everywhere the rest of the color you hear those birds outside just beautiful radio oh <laughs> wish me luck wish me luck I might need to just give a little blow down there first Radio. Let's give this a go. Might start halfway up. Trousers, trousers. I love it. I might need to just soften some of these edges here so it blends a little bit with the bottom, but don't have to be touching it, just that no harsh lines. We all don't like harsh lines. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I really, 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 really hope that dries perfect. So, oh my goodness. Love it. I'm quite pleased that I didn't cover the whole lot. It, it sort of give a bulk down here. And I would definitely hang it uh, that way, I would guess. I think that's gorgeous. It's kind of a big autumn -y, fiery craziness, but I absolutely love it. And I really hope you do too. Um, I'm just going to see how it dries and then I will um, go from there. But just, it's just beautiful and if I don't want to keep it myself, uh, I don't find somebody. I will definitely sell it easy enough. So that's it. Love those colours. Absolutely love that autumn burst. And I hope you do too. So until tomorrow, you lovely people, um, please stay safe. Look after yourselves. If you're feeling sad, lonely, upset. Please ring a friend or a family member. Do not suffer in silence. Um, we need you healthy. So until tomorrow, bye for now. I hope you enjoyed that crazy video. I'm sure if you let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps me and costs you guys absolutely nothing. Free. Alrighty. Until tomorrow. Bye for now. I did look back on this piece and decided to blow it out further as you can see in this picture and give it a few little uh, water balloon embellishments. Um, I thought it looked too harsh, the line that I left. So I'm really, really happy with this autumn inspired pour now. But I just, um, coming up the picture now, the it was too yeah it was kind of too harsh between the nice floaty bits those bits and the colorful bit at the bottom so i just um 
yeah blew it out, just blew it out a bit further and softened it all up added some embellishments so until tomorrow you lovely people thank you so much for joining me bye for now